Hello and welcome. This is Omar Fan. In this video, I'll be presenting my Steve, Song, and Vincent's Seasonal Center. To this video, there will also be a system video uh, featuring Sam, David, and AJ's uh, Fleet Blitzer deck. And these decks are made in uh, comparison to each other, so they are somewhat similar in strength and are supposed to go up against each other, or having in mind that they are going up against each other. But in this video, I'll be just showing off uh, this season of center deck. So let's get into how I build it and what my ideas about it are. For our starting heroes, we have Erika for gem consistency and a very good level 5. No, not much more to say about that. And then we're including Vincent's Yumi to give our consistency in finding all the cards that we want as we're going through the deck. Um, it's a bit more consistent than just a regular super blend search. Though it's a bit more costly since you do have to discard three identical gems or two identical cards of other types from your hand. But it does always give us access to our level 5, which is very good when playing a starter deck. That even though there are very few level 5s or level 4s in your deck, that you always have access to them, irregardless of if you draw into them or not. You can force it by using Yumi, so that's always nice. We're having Giselle to move our gems around as we want. Also, nice defense, that's always nice. Um, and Giselle really uh, goes to well together with Higri, because Higri can find any level 2 that you want. So we are running a lot of level 2s for uh, utility, finding gems and blends and so on. And then we're also running Angel Song's Angel here, which allows us to move around, which combos well with Giselle, because Giselle, whenever you move uh, two heroes, you can move gems between from one of them to the other. So that way you can use Hickory to get all the utility plants out that you want. And then you can put on Angel, put the gems where you want, and then leave no hanging gems on Hickory. So that's for the starting heroes. Let's get into the plants. The deck is focused around using Season Ascender, uh, having all right stats. It could, like, it's not that strong an attack, like, it only four, but it makes up for it having two defenses, I suppose. Uh, but it's the effect we are after, where we, if we do a full rotation, four rotation in one uh, direction, we can deal five damage at the end of the turn. So that's what the deck is aiming to do quite consistently, and maybe even doing it more with Steve's Crystal Reflector to copy that effect, so to do 10 damage at the end of the turn. So that's what the deck is based around. Then we're having Hail Dominator, uh, basically a very good uh, secondary attacker. Before we having Season in the center set up, we can begin attacking with Hail Dominator in the center. We're moving around with Angel, uh, so we are quite likely to have Hail Dominator in the middle. Then we have Glisten Blinger, an additional way of dealing damage to our opponent on the way there to not lose too much tempo and we do have a lot of uh, blends that deal that have somewhat high attack stats that we can just discard from hand whenever we want to so that's why glisten blinger is there then we have crystal reflectors we have having running two crystal reflectors that's both to uh, copy the effect of like fork shifter we'll get into maybe and then season center in the end game and maybe even glisten blinger if we want to discard a lot of blends from our hand um, very good con like additional effect. It copies the high level heroes effect uh, for a lower gem cost, which is always beneficial and efficient. So that's why we are running them. Having multiple level threes of the same type also combos well with Yumi to always search out our uh, high level blanks. We have two fox shifters to set up the rotation for season sender. They can rotate twice a turn, so having two out will make sure that we have season sender set up. Then we have flurry shifter, that's to disrupt our opponent by discarding a gem from hand. We can rotate our opponents instead, that's quite nice. We have silver goal to take up action from our discard pile and also works as like a third degree attacker. We have angels to move around, we've already been through this, like very high utility, even if our opponent disrupts us, we can get back into position quite quickly. We're running two bishops. We could be running a third, but I am opting to only run two because they are so strong that I don't want to make a deck too good in comparison to the fleet blitzer deck. 
And this allows us to get the level 3 plants that I was talking about, but also crucially the gems. Um, do keep up that some of these cards have been nerfed in uh, for the next Kickstarter coming up on the 21st of March this uh, 2023, if you're watching this video prior to that. We are running two goals to up the damage from Season Ascended when we do get the damage off. That's quite nice. We're running two shifters, so Hickory has something to do with rotating us around. And we are running three rockets, so we can draw them early, punish our opponent when they blend to deal some damage back to them. But it's not really punishing, but keep up pace, basically. And then we have Glisten Blame to discard them with from hand, and so on. And also, we can discard them with Yumi if need be. So that was all for the blend, so let's go into actions. We are running three gem searches for consistency, really, really nice. We have two rotates to increase the likelihood of getting season and center off. Uh, then we have two super draws for more draw power and consistency. Always feels nice to have cards to work with and getting through your deck so you see the cast you want. Uh, we have one stun to disrupt our opponent, like slow them a bit down, especially against Fleet Reacher, so they don't have the double attack that they want to uh, utilize. We are running two reach cycles because in the game that I was playing with this uh, deck against my friend, I ended up discarding both crystal reflectors in both uh, in two of the games. So I never really got to use them. So I realized like, oh, when using Yumi, it might be good to be able to ro recycle some cards back to have them for later in case I end up losing them throughout the game. Uh, especially if, if that's the first time playing, it feels really bad to lose the cast that you were hoping to rely on. And that's for the actions. And the gems, we are running four aqua gems. Uh, three, four pirate gems, four cryo gems, and four lucio gems, yeah, and four aerial gems. Yep, and that's it for the gems. Very basic setup, just four of each, so 20 gems total. And for our benched heroes, we are running Lauren uh, as a level 4, uh, works the same as Giselle as getting gems around where you want them to be, but in this case it goes back into hand. In the games I was playing before, I did have Lauren in a starting setup, but I opted to put Giselle in the starting uh, line because I felt that was much better. Um, it was much more fluent getting the gems around and slowed you down a lot less, so that was much better. We have Kula, if you really want to see the gem surge on the second round, or rotate maybe even uh, by discarding gem from hand. Uh, also a nice attack, but yeah, just much not much more in it. Uh, we have Maria, so we can take out Hickory and then put the other two level threes up to level four and blend them in that way. Uh, we have Duck, if we want to punish our opponent, can combo well with the Hickory, Angel and Gazelle, so we always have the exact number of gems on Doc to want. So that way we can always deal the free damage if need be. And that's my Season of Center deck. It is built around being not the strongest, so there is a lot of things that can be optimized in the deck. Uh, and you can play through, you can add, uh, adjust the deck list as you want. I will put the, the deck list in the description and you can modify it as you want, as you play. And I hope you enjoy this and thank you to Steve, Vincent and Sung for the cards. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.